Hi everyone, I am Jamie and this is Robin and um, yes, I kind of <laughs> look like this because I do not care today because it is my birthday, uh, hence why I'm loving a I love Taylor Swift shirt because um, I'm coming out to you guys as I'm actually a 10 year old girl in a now 26 year old girl's body <laughs> and it was a birthday present to me because I have a little um, obsession with uh, Taylor Swift. So, um, yes, this is who you're taking advice from. Sorry about that. I wanted to do a short little uh, vlog about support groups today, and um, yeah, sorry, Robin's eating some flies over here. Um, to excuse that, we're going to have some bloopers. Um, so I wanted to talk about support groups, because today, turning 26, it made me think back to my last birthday and how so much has changed and um, what I have to contribute to that a lot to is support groups um, really really held me up when I was down um, when I'd say like support groups and therapists were you know kind of hand in hand but my therapist was not always there when I needed her and she also wasn't free <laughs> and so, and also she did the best that she could but no one can really understand someone suffering from CFS or ME like we can so I think that it is incredibly important to um, not suffer through this alone and when I first heard that I had this disease you know my doctor told me to maybe go to some support groups and I just had I just you know, I was a. It, the, this disease changed me. I I was a stubborn back then, and I, I I thought that support groups were for people that just like couldn't handle it on their own, and I guess it is because I couldn't handle it on my own. But I didn't understand how amazing it would be and how supportive everyone was. I guess that's why I call it. So they call it support groups, and how many times you guys lifted me up while I was down. And I just, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for support groups. To put it into perspective where I was last year to where I am this year. Last year, I wasn't posting videos by this time. Um, I, had drop, I had had to drop out of school and I had had to stop working. And at that point, I think I knew I was, um, I was getting ready to, so uh, I, ha I was going to have someone take care of me and I was living by myself and I couldn't do it anymore. So I was in that thinking process of, oh, I, had, I w was going to school, going into this medical program and I was working all the time and now here I am, you know, getting my independence stripped away and um, I was just, I was a mess, absolute mess. I just fe really bad fevers going around my own town not knowing where I was sometimes or why I went outside. I remember one time I went out of a store, went to a surf store to get a surf rack because I knew that I was going to need to take my surfboards home. And um, I got out of the surf store and for like five minutes when I walked out, just I, I kind of like if you've been drunk before and really dizzy and the world spins, that's what happened. And I wasn't drunken surf shopping, I promise, <laughs> and uh, I, it, the, world was, the, the world was spinning, and I had no idea where I was, I think I barely knew who I was, and um, it was just the scariest thing, and I, and I was completely turned around where I was, in a very tiny town where that's really hard to happen, you look at the ocean and you know where you are, um, so that was kind of my mindset back then, I just, the brain fog was unreal and um, you know on my birthday uh, my usually every year on my birthday I have a my group of my close family aunts and uncles and grand grandma <laughs> and my parents get together talk about how I'm doing which is usually a positive thing and we all have dinner last year was the first year in my life that that didn't happen and that was because at my birthday everyone you know asks how I am doing and I knew they, they were gonna ask that and I didn't want to say that I, I didn't I felt like I had nothing at all positive to say like mm, my heart's still beating 
I think and not not very it's not doing very well but um, I didn't want to tell her yeah I have this disease that the doctors don't know how long it's gonna last and feel like my skin is being torn off my body right now and I could barely see you and I don't remember the question that you just asked me so I said that I didn't even want a birthday and that many people which would have been five to eight people would have been too much stimuli for me anyway I wouldn't have been able to handle it I could barely handle one person talking to me and so it was really really amazing to actually have a birthday this year and to want people to um, be at my birthday with me and I have support groups to thank for that and so I'll talk a little bit about support groups so something pretty easy to do is to go onto Facebook and um, I'm I'm pretty public about uh, my disorder as you know as I'm here put myself out with my Taylor Swift shirt and my Chihuahua and um, not everyone has to be like that I talk about um, my chronic fatigue syndrome page uh, it's a support group page and that page everybody can see it when you post on it though I don't think that it it's going to show your friends that but if your friends happen to go on your page they might see that or it might it's depending on your settings it might say on the side like you know um, let's call you Smojo commented on this page but it's kind of rare that they would see that but if they did for some reason happen to look up my page yes they can see what you wrote me so it's not private if you want to private message me there's just a little message button at the top and you can private message me absolutely and that is fine I just might not get back right away because that page and my private Facebook page are completely different um, but what people private message me and I think that it's great and I can help some people that way but in my experience the best way to be helped is instead of asking one person you know oh what has worked for you is to put yourself out there in a page with thousands of people or hundreds and to say what has worked for you because I, to me it's like don't you want to know you know what has worked from you know like you hear ten people tried something that worked for them as opposed to one person um, and that's kind of what I did in order I took like the you know the masses <laughs> like what they were doing that worked for them and then well, I'd take what would work, some things wouldn't, and then I'd kind of go down the line. So that was my method. But absolutely feel free to message me. I can help you the best that I can. I am not a doctor, obviously. I mean, look at me. <laughs> so, But I love talking to everyone, and um, everyone's just been so, so nice to me. So sweet. And um, so something else that you can do besides, so my page is public. There's a lot of good public groups like that and uh, the good thing about that is that there's usually a lot of people on those groups and then um, private Facebook groups are also really cool because if you don't want friends and family to see what you are posting and if what you're posting is a little um, I don't know like it, it may be sort of embarrassing to you or it's something that only someone with CFS or ME would understand then that's absolutely perfect to post that and there's two ways of, of doing this. Um, I and I've done both. I've um, stuck around in support. Robin's just gonna dish. Reminds me of like a hungry hungry hippo, but like with flies. It's kind of cute. But she's not. I'm not gonna let her kiss me unless I forget. But um, so it, you can go in support groups and you can just watch what people are doing. That's what I did with low dose naltrexone. And I would I want to thank really kind lady um, that that introduced me to Lotus Naltrexone. She doesn't, I don't know if she understands how much she really changed my life, um, but I hope she does. And that was because of a support group. And the gluten-free, the vitamins, the everything, like fi finding the book from fatigue to fantastic, everything was support groups. And my, the, everything that I give to my doctor, all these articles, um, it's all independent research that I, I did because of support groups like I think support groups are just really up there as number one in getting help for recovery and in not being alone back to what I was saying you can 
you can go there and you can just see what everyone else is doing and stay silent um, if you don't want to put yourself out there that's fine you will find a lot of information but that way unless somebody has like the exact same identical story as you you're, you might not get the exact answer you are looking for because everyone's story is very unique so you can also um, put yourself out there and I've done this too say your whole life story say as little as you want say two two sentences um, and say what you want help with say what's been working for everyone what's the best thing for brain what is everyone doing for brain fog I guarantee you are going to get a great laundry list um, a good strategy kind of like I said before see what like kind of what more people are doing rather than less but there's always you know it's going to be occasional that you know I mean for example in a support group there might be you know if I say what's the best thing for brain fog there might be you know 20 people that say like go gluten free and there might be five people that say low dose naltrexone and that doesn't mean um, that doesn't mean not to try something like low dose naltrexone it just means that not as many people know about it but whatever anyone says Google is an amazing search engine. Look it up. Um, don't try to look at scholarly articles when you research um, thing uh, websites with like tons and tons of ads. I don't trust those as as much. Um, th those websites are they they put ads on there. They do that to to get money, and it doesn't mean that their information is not true. But I just think a scholarly article is better so just whatever anyone says don't I wouldn't just go blindly do it I would, I would definitely I would definitely research it and um, there's also another option if you don't want your name out there at all um, there's one called patients like me which I don't believe you need to uh, put your name and I'll I'll put all of these links down below and you can actually see the treatments that people are doing uh, for fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, forward slash ME. And uh, you can see people will rate the effectiveness of their treatment, and they will, I think they rate the, the cost of the treatment as well, and they'll rate side effects. So that's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. And uh, there's, another, there's another one where you definitely don't have to put your name. So I'm just going to put a big old group of um, support group Facebook sites. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, and I just wanted to thank you guys again so much for being so great. And support groups, if you're, if, if someone's struggling with someone, something, and you see it, and no one, and they haven't gotten an answer for it yet, you know, taking that, that second to answer their question may honestly save their life. Like, the, someone that, that answered my question truly saved my life. So, um, yes, I want to thank everyone for that. This video is 13 minutes of thanking you guys. So, thank you guys so much. And, um, yes, I'm just so ha I'm really happy to be thanking you guys and doing this vlog on my birthday. All right, bye. And I hope you guys have really good birthdays, too. one today but um Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> my mom <laughs> I hate you I hate you <laughs> I thought a little mouse was talking to me oh there's some bloopers <laughs>